alaikum and good day to the honorable judges, teachers, and the viewers of this video wherever you are. My name is Robi Bahtia bin Baharudin and I am from SMK Tung Said Nasir Ismail, Johor Baru Johor. I am the class monitor of 4UM and an active member of Persatuan Seni Silat Pahlawan. I'm lucky enough to have my classmates trust and become the class monitor for four consecutive years. In addition, I have joined and won multiple select competitions over the past few years. Today, I would like to present to you a book that I found quite intriguing, which is Atomic Habits, an easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones by James Clear. It was originally published on 16 October 2018. See, this book teaches the readers how to form good habits, break bad ones, and even master the tiny habits to have a huge impact in one's life. This book starts off by explaining the power of tiny habits. According to James Clear, habits are the compound interest of self-improvement, which means the longer you stick to a habit, the better the result you're going to get in the long run. Equally important, this book also clarifies how habits can change our identity and vice versa. There are three layers of behavior change, a change in our outcomes, a change in our processes, or a change in our identity. It further describes that the outcomes are about what we get, processes are about what we do, and identity is about what we believe. Next, this book explains that any habit can be broken down to four-step feedback loop, which are cue, craving, response, and reward. After that, the book shows how to build a new habit in four simple steps using the four laws of behavior change, which is a simple set of rules that can be used to build better habits. They are make it obvious, make it attractive, make it easy, and make it satisfying. This book also guides us on how to break a habit using the inversion of the four laws of behavior change, which are make it invincible, make it unattractive, make it difficult, and make it unsatisfying. Not only that, this book has so many more topics and guidelines that can help us in our good habit forming journey, such as the best way to start a new habit using habit stacking, how environment could make much more impact than motivations, how to stick to good habits every day, and many more. Honestly, this book is phenomenal. It has helped me so much during the pandemic where I, myself as a student, struggle to balance between my personal life and my study. This book has turned me into a creature of habit and even helped me to prioritize and tick off my schedules so that I can do more activities during my free time. I've even started working out and losing weight. Reading this book has made me a much more productive person since it helps me to kickstart good and beneficial routines. However, the most valuable lesson of all that I've learned from this book is that it is better to improve at something even by merely 1% per day. As the saying goes, bit by bit, whatever you see petty will become plenty. I've learned to just have fun, trust the process, and without even noticing it, I've gotten better at whatever I chose to do because I stay focused on the system, not the end result. That all, that's all from me. Thank you very much for lending me your ears and have a wonderful day.